Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so to build the calculator, the first thing we're going to need to do is build out the UI for it. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this video. So I've just opened up a blank app. Uh, got nothing in it, it's just a scaffold. And so I'm just going to start off by adding a background color of deep purple, strength like 100. And in the body, let's add a column. And let's add two expanded widgets. And on the second, on the second one, on the ex second expanded widget, I want to add a flex of two, uh, which basically just means uh, if I show you here. The bottom side, I want it to be like twice as large as the top. So on the top, we'll have, like we'll display the input and the output, so the question and the answer. And down here, we'll display like a grid of uh, buttons that we can press. Okay, so in this container, we're going to add a, a bunch of buttons. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to call it buttons.dot. And in here, we can create our button that we're going to reuse. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to import our material design. And let's create a stateless widget. And I'm just going to call it my button. Okay, this button is going to be made up of three different uh, variables. So let's say final color. Um, final text color, final string um, button text, and then let's build a constructor. So this dot color, this dot text color, this dot button text. Mm, okay, so yeah, these are the three things. So the color is going to be the color of the button, text color is the color of the text, and button text is the numbers like it's 0 through 9 and the operators as well. Okay, so the look I want to go for is like a rounded container. So to do that, We're going to use this widget here, clip R rect, which just basically stands for like rounded rectangle. And we can add a border radius of let's say 20. And in the container, the color of the container is going to be this color that I pass through. And the child is going to be in the middle of the container and that child is going to be a text widget and it's going to be this button text that I passed through like when I create the button and in that in the style where I can edit the um, text I'm going to pass through this text color So color is equal to text color there. Okay, and I think I've used everything. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we've built our button. So in our container on the lower half, what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, let's just test to see if our button is working. So center child is my button. And let's fill this out. So colors dot deep purple text color colors dot white and button text is a string. So I'm gonna pass zero. Cool. Okay, sweet. So there's our button. Now one thing I'm gonna adjust on the button class is let's add a padding padding of eight. Let's see what that looks like. 
Yeah, so that's going to come in handy when we have a bunch of buttons stacked together. Okay, so this is just one button. Now we're going to need to build a lot more than this. So I'm going to use a, a grid view builder. And basically, if I come up here, uh, okay, so let's build a final list of strings. Um, called buttons and how am I going to lay this out okay so basically I'm going to have all of the I'm going to have all the buttons that I want just laid out um, in a list of strings and I'm going to use a grid view builder to cycle through this list and build um, as many buttons as we need okay so we can automate that process Okay, so the first button I want is clear, and then I want delete, and then I want percent, and then um, divide, and let's go with four buttons on each row. Okay, so, whoops. So I'm going to say nine. Eight, seven, six. Oh, actually, I don't want this to be six. I want this to be times. This is six, five, four, uh, minus three, two, one, plus. Zero. Oop. Decimal point. Answer. And last one is equal sign. Okay, sweet. So I just wrote it out like this, so it's easier for us to visualize how the buttons are going to be laid out. Okay, but it's just going to look like this. Okay, starting from zero, one, two, three, all the way to this last guy, with four in each row. Okay, so if we come back down here. Um. This button, we're going to create a grid view builder. Okay, and in the grid delegate, we're going to add sliver grid delegate. Uh, I want the one with this one here. There it is. With fixed cross axis count. And the cross axis count, we're going to specify, specify to be four. So that just means we're going to have four in each row, and then it's going to drop to the next row. Um, item builder. Okay, so build context with an index. So we're going to return the button here. Oops. Um, button text. In here, let's say, uh, so this is where we're going to cycle through the list of buttons. So I'm going to say buttons dot, actually buttons index. Okay, so the index here is going to cycle from zero to however many buttons we're going to build, which I should actually specify here. Item count. Um, I want there to be however many buttons I've got. Buttons dot length. Okay, so however many is up here. Okay, so what is this one? Okay, so button text is going to be, um, yep, it's going to be the numbers up there. And then color, let's say colors deep purple and text color white. Okay, so if we save that, sweet, there it is. Just a nice quick way to build um, a grid of numbers. Okay, so that didn't take many lines of code at all. So pretty much done, but I'm just going to clean this up a little and um, change these numbers to a bit lighter of a color. And these operators will just keep darker. Okay, so one way we're going to do that is I'm just going to create a quick method down here and say boolean is operator and pass through a string. 
and basically if the string is equal to a percent sign or a divide sign or a times or a minus or a plus and whoops and an equals if it's any one of these let's return sorry return true and otherwise just return false okay so why did I just build this method so any if, if uh, when I build the grid if any of the numbers the buttons are operators then we're going to use the darker colors like it is currently and if it's not I'm just going to change it to a different color okay so when I return here I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna say is operator and I'm gonna pass through a string and that's gonna be just this string here so if this depending on what this is if it's an operator let's leave it as purple and if not whoops and if not let's make this shade of 50 okay and same logic over here for the text color let's make this white and this one just deep purple okay and sweet there it is the desired effect that I wanted okay so just these operators will just keep dark purple and these ones white uh, pretty much done. Now the last thing is I just want to change this clear and delete button. So clear I want it to be green and delete let's make it uh, red. Now I could do a similar way like a similar method to this by making a couple more uh, methods like is operators but for clear and delete. But since it's just one button of each I'm gonna use a if statement and say if the index is 0 then do something else if the index is equal to 1 do something and else return this button so basically what I did is index starting from 0 to 1 that's basically I'm just checking for this 0 and 1 so if it's clear that's 0 if it's delete that's 1 so if it's clear I'm gonna return this button and let's get rid of all this crap and just return wait this one's clear right so green and over here we want to delete all this make it white and similarly for this one we want uh, red because it's delete and I think that's it okay let's save it and there it is sweet okay so yep, that's just the UI for the calculator. In the next um, following videos, let's focus on the functionality of it. We'll make this these buttons um, tappable with gesture detectors and display them up here as we tap them. All right, sweet. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.